their trampoline and toys remain in the garden, now alongside a forensic tent. The three young children killed in this house have been named as seven-year-old Faris Bash, his three-year-old sister, Jury, and nine-month-old brother, Mohammed. A Sudanese family, their deaths have rocked the local community. Salwa Bashar was a friend of the family. Her children had playdates together. For me, it's unbelievable. I, I still don't want to believe this has actually happened because I am really, really sad. I, I couldn't sleep last night. And since they told me, I still in shock. I'm really sad. I'm deeply sad. Her older son is called Faris. She's, he's very smart. He's a very smart boy. He's not just ordinary kid. He's very smart. Police were called to the house in the west of Bristol in the early hours of Sunday morning following a call from a member of the public. A 42-year-old woman was arrested at the scene and taken to hospital due to injuries that she had sustained. Her condition is not life-threatening and she remains in police custody at this time. Nearby the house, members of the Sudanese community gathered, trying to come to terms with what's happened. Very, very uh, sad tragedy. They are very, um, I don't know how to describe our feeling as a community. What does it do to the community when you have three young children like this killed? What impact is that? Oh, it's, you know, it's very, very painful because all the community is shocked, like no one can believe. I know all the family and even the kids, even my kids, they know the kids. And they, when they hear uh, in the TV, about this, so they shock and they ask me, Mom, what happened? Police say this is an isolated incident, but officers will remain at the scene in the coming days. The exact circumstances that led to these deaths remain unclear, but what we do know is that the police had had previous contact with the family earlier this month. That has meant Avon and Somerset Police has referred itself to the police watchdog. As the investigation continues, teachers and friends of those killed gathered at a nearby church. Tonight, they grieve three young children who are no longer with them. Dan Whitehead, Sky News, in Bristol.